All right, so we just did show text overlay. Um, final action we're going to review is what's called write to log. Um, and the write to log action allows you to set up a rule to write to the system log, uh, the event log, based on specific events. All right. So this is, is useful for tracking events which may not need automated system reaction, but are important for later searches. Um, for example, generic event from third party license plate recognition systems. Maybe you want to track every single license plate that comes in, but you only want to be notified when blacklisted license plates, license plates come in, right? Or you only want the gate to open uh, if whitelisted uh, uh, license plates are available. So those would be actions that you would take that are specific. Okay, so, but you want to capture every single license plate and you want to write it to the log in case you want to search for it later on. That would be a good case use case for this. So all you do with this one, dead simple, right? Like most of the things, you go in, set up your rule. We got the motion, and I've set it up to write to log. That's all you do, and then you can change it the interval of action, right? So if Nick uh, goes to the kettlebell again this time, you're not going to see anything happen, right? Go ahead. Don't break anything, Nick. So you, you, nothing's happening, right? But if I look over here in the events, then uh, I would probably see that event if I look for it. Um, but I can also go here, system administration, go to event log, and you can see motion on camper has been written here, right? So that's how you would basically write to log and why you would really write to log. So there it is coming in anyways, motion on camera, um, and it's in the event log now. So that's write to log feature, thrilling. Coming up. We're going to go over some of this search and ex searching for tools and then exporting tools. We're going to go to Smart Motion. Uh, we already went over bookmarks, so we're not going to go over that again. We went over the event long just now, so we don't have to go over that. Um, and then we're going to go over exporting. So, really, we're just going to go over Smart Motion and exporting. You know what? I'm going to delete these two because we've already done those. So, Smart Motion and then export. And then we're pretty much done. Uh, there's some other features that I haven't gone over. Those are going to be covered in advanced uh, advanced training, uh, which is the next course. But up until this point, you're pretty much done. So after the next couple of videos, it's going to be time for the test, the certification test. So coming up, searching for an exporting video. Let's go.